Yep. Get turn the headlights on. Horizon right here. I might steal a pinch of a bit of power bait if possible. After seeing one, I'm, I feel confident. I got a weird rig, that's for sure. I've got brown one. It's my Macquarie perch rig. I don't know why I outfish everyone like that for a Macquarie perch. So my sink has got the loop instead of the hook, yep. and then my hook's just to a single line. And I find it holds out better. Some people put their hook on the loop and make it really small, like that. But then your hook's got two lines, so mine only has one. It's just the one, and then you have the bottom. Then I got two on the sinker, yeah. So my bait's like floating away. Actually, this is a smart idea. So it floats off the bottom. One person can really affect the waterway, man. Just because you're catching 30 fish a day doesn't mean there's 300,000. You know, there might not be that many, but you're getting all of the fish in there to bite most of the time. Like, I feel like that with the lake I go. There's not a lot, but they're all big, you know? So when you get one in there, it's worth it. You've got to fish hard for it. And if you start taking the big ones, then the little ones take over. And then they reproduce it and there's nothing bigger to eat them so they don't get enough time to get big and then you ruin the lake and i used to get 20 fish a day all over 40. my dad's first redfin was 47 centimeters his first ever redfin out of there and every other one since then was all over 40. and now you go you're lucky to get a 25 centimeter because everyone keeps the big ones but then the little ones can't grow because they just eat all the food on each other 
you got to look after the waterways. That's why if I had a private lake, I reckon it would have some of the biggest, beastiest fish in there. I would know how to maintain it, like keep the little fish out, let the big fish grow. That's what I do. Proper like bait sizes. That small one that we had, it's a meter, so meter small one. Yeah, so it's good too sometimes. Yeah, people take the big and let the little go. It's like you need to be doing the opposite for predator fish. You keep the small ones, and the bigger ones can reproduce. And then they eat the small ones to stay big. That's right. But you try to proportion their population, right? The one that we we went to the local company in Australia. Yeah, I'm on. Well done, mate. I'm the Tassie Devil. Grab my net, grab my net. I felt him hit it three times. Just there, left, left. He's just there. Yes! Beauty. Beauty. Well done, mate. Fuck oh, yeah. On the Tassie Devil. <laughs> I just put it on too. Well done, mate. Well done. Cheers, Thanks. bro. Good job. Thanks, boys. Congratulations, mate. My first stonker. Look at that. It's a big male too. It's got the hook jaw. <laughs> hook just fell out too. Yeah. yeah. You bit nicely, mate. Oh, what's your phone? That's an actual What's your phone? Do you want me to use my phone and send it to you? Good, good luck, buddy. That's it. On the lure too, man. On the lure? Yeah. That's fantastic. I've only been throwing it the whole day, so it's about time. I don't want him to die because I'm going to let him go. Yeah. Oh, what's the light come up again the other way or no? What do you reckon? It's up to you. Yeah, that'll do. Right, yeah, it's nice, nice. One, two, three. Couple of those. Is that a nice one? Yeah. So there are fish in here. They just put them in today. Oh really? Yeah. Literally all this well, size, 30 of them. Me. I kept telling her to tell her husband they're coming and fish down here. She goes, oh there's no fish in there. I go, yeah there are. There's oh. heaps of redfin and they so put these in today. Is that a redfin? Rainbow trout. A rainbow, rainbow trout. trout. Yeah. Best eating fish. So you eat I'm any letting any? it go though. I'm gonna let it go. Oh, oh. You've got it, you've got it. Oh my you've got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in the net so he doesn't get too grassy. Can you, you bring my rod over? Yeah. Oh, you can. That's why they put him in here. Yeah. But I'm not going to. It's fun just to catch him and let him go. Yeah, I just want to keep him wet. Oh, well done. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, my lure feels weird. That whole retrieve, it felt like it was tangled. It kept hitting something. He hit that like 10 times. Photo, see, here you go. Yeah, one sec, I'll just chuck him on here. I'll grab another picture when he's on here. Sure. Relax, mate. What is it? 51? 50. Oh. Just over 50. I'll say 50. Yee -yee -yee -yee. Stonkers! Stonkers for days. Yee -yee -yee -yee. We did it come down for a bit of a solo fish. Ended up getting a stonker, 50 centimeters. Not bad fish at all, just from the local lake. Absolutely disgusting water throwing a Tassie Devil. There he is. Thanks to the fellas over here for netting it for me too. Absolute beast of a fight. Big male. I'm gonna get him straight back. Yee 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 yee! I don't know if it's going to swim off. He's bleeding from the mouth. I don't know where he was hooked. But he's got a lot of blood. See it just there, like coming out. Was it far down? I didn't see it. 
Maybe all over his face. Do you want to eat it if it doesn't swim? No, it's going to swim. Maybe. Straight back into the wall, but yeah, he's trying to. He's getting his bearings. Straight back into the wall again. <laughs> That's what they do when they release him. He's got a bit of power. Trout usually always take a while. Hopefully you don't float back up. There we go lads. Nice stocky. As you just seen, it was a bit of a fun fight. Actually to be fair, my first ever stocky out of this lake, even though they stock it every year, multiple times. Let alone a stonker, I can't be more happy with that. And on a lure. Two to maybe three hours of fishing hard. Been really slow, not even a redfin. So it's good to see it paying off. Remember if you like this video, to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below. You know what to do. and. See you when I get another one.